Hey guys, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones, and today I'm going to go over the core positioning at the non-volley zone and also uh, footwork at the non-volley zone. So um, yeah, let's jump right in. For more 5.0 player pickleball secrets to help you take your game to the next level, please visit primetimepickleball.com. All right guys, so the first thing that I wanna mention um, for the positioning at the non-volley zone, this is when all four players are up at the net. This is after you have hit your third shot and successfully advanced up to the to the net with your partner, okay? So, and this is the positioning that you should have when you're up here at the non-volley zone, okay? The biggest thing, the most important thing is that you hold your ground uh, when you're up here at the line. And by meaning, meaning that, that you're really up, right here, up at the line, really close to the line. And there, there's a few disadvantages of being a little bit back, even if it's six inches to a foot back, which I see a lot of players doing, and sometimes they don't notice it, okay? So let, let's think a little bit, okay? So it's really important that I maintain maintain this position up at the net, okay? And really close to the line. And the, there's two key disadvantages to not doing that, okay? So you may start up at the line and once you get in this dink rally, and let's say they hit like a, a wide dink here or there, okay? Then, then you're backing up and then you kind of get caught in here, okay? And one big disadvantage is the more and the further back you are off the line, you're, they're gonna have more court to work with. That means they could hit down at your feet and you're opening a, up a whole bunch of angles. So you don't wanna do that. Um, and the second thing is when you back up, you know, if they're hitting short dinks, you know, you have, you have to move further to get those dinks. So it, the most important place to be um, when you're up at the non-volley zone line is to be right up here. And also it gives you the most offensive position to attack, to attack balls at the net, okay? So as you guys can see, I'm always really close to the line. You'll see all the top players, they really hold their ground really well, okay? So you always wanna be up at the line because if you're a little bit further back, there's gonna be some, there, there could be some dinks that are a little bit deep and a little bit high that you could attack but you can't because you're further back, okay? The closer you are to this line, you could really put a lot of pressure on your opponents and, and you could put more balls away and speed up more shots from here, okay? So those are the two main disadvantages of being back off the line. So just make sure you're up. So yeah, um, thanks for joining us so much. Um, you guys, if you like this video, give it a like, and also make sure to comment, leave a comment if you have any questions, and uh, most importantly, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more videos in the future. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. For more 5.0 player pickleball secrets to help you take your game to the next level, please visit primetimepickleball.com. You'll find a clickable direct link in the video description below. But before you head on over there, be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our future videos.